Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday and welcome. We're farther into 2021. Yep. What an interesting year this is shaping yep. up to be. Now, why do we have the tree in the background? And so we have the tree in the background, yes, still, <laughs> because I love Christmas. And we are talking about... Um, our, our little tree was apparently shaking hands with JJ there. <laughs> but we're talking about what you want in 2021 and yes. what do you want for the next year yes. and I want things that make me smile that make my heart happy and Christmas is one of those yeah, things so true. I'm dragging it out as long as I can Forever. there's snow on the ground and it makes it it still feels curious. Christmassy yeah yeah, yeah. coming I, from Phoenix when we were in Phoenix it was hot and sunny and so when Christmas was over it was just like over but out right. here in Michigan, it's, it's like, like February. Oh yeah, you get snow and the, the Christmas kind of stays. It's like, it's kind of nice. I was actually just thinking when I was driving on my way to work last Saturday, I was thinking about how grateful I was for the people that are on Flushing Road that still have their Christmas lights on. <laughs> if you're watching, thank, thank you. you. You made my morning really happy. <laughs> but, that's we so should funny. go ahead and probably okay. get it into right. it. So, so, New Year. Uh, so, New Year. So, um, we talked a little bit last week about, you know, starting out the New Year, what you want, things like that. Yep. But what I wanted to really kind of dig into this time is what do you want for New Year's? You know, a lot of times I listen to people making their New Year's resolutions, and then I was really inspired by this class that I had just a couple days ago that was on the Kabbalah, and they were talking about how to make this year your best year yet. Aren't those the guys that, like, run the government, the secret society? <laughs> the Kabbalah. Isn't that the Kabbalah? The, the Ka Kabbalah oh, is I'm one of just... the... Kabbalah, gotcha. Kabbalah <laughs> is one of those mysterious, deeper... Intensive societies that run. No, oh, oh, sorry. Deeper sorry. intensive meanings. Oh, oh, sorry. Of a spiritual study. The ceremonial magicians I studied with in my early 20s were Kabbalists, which is a sect of Judaism, Jew, Jews, okay. basically. Right. You just are getting and, uh, farther sorry, away from sorry. what I know. Close down a little small Bring it word, back small word. Yeah. So um, I'm Jewish, as you know, okay. and there is a group of <laughs> Jewish people that study. <laughs> Um, really deep, secret, hidden mysteries of the universe. Oh, okay. How things work, how to make life the best you can. Like Try magicians. Very, very simplifying. And we, you become magicians by oh. learning and running with the, what really isn't a secret, but it's just knowledge and wisdom that a lot of people haven't tapped into. Oh. But we all have a right to learn and okay. to study if you okay. want to. Um, hmm. As you saw when I was practicing and celebrating Hanukkah this year, yep. and yep. I was talking about, now we're getting closer into my closing of the life talk, but we're not going to end it that fast. But there was a lot about <laughs> thinking about the awe and what inspires you and what gives you so much awe in okay. life and so, amazing all right, all right, all right. and so, so that in ties class. into so that ties into okay. some of the teachings about thinking about what you want for your next year how can you make this the best year yet for yourself that's what mm -hmm. everybody wants right everybody wants this year to be better than last year and that's, wants this that's, to be the best that's what i want and i think that's where most people stop most people say yeah. I want this to be better than last yeah, year. Better. I want to do the things that I didn't do that I meant to do that maybe I, I made still like haven't the done last about five, five years, years for right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I I'm still keep waiting. Trying. <laughs> I keep trying. Trying. Thinking about it. Almost. And so I want you to think about what you want for this next year. Okay. So let's start let's start with you for a minute. Okay. So what, do, what is it that you think about so you're like, okay, 2020 is behind. 2019 is behind. Thank God 2020 is behind. I give it a one star. Common thought process. One star. In <laughs> perfect shirt for this. Yes. Very bad. Would not recommend. Very bad. Would not recommend. <laughs> so, okay, okay. So we're so, starting at that starting point. I okay, think that's yeah, where a lot yeah, of people are. Yeah. A lot of people are frustrated angry you know a lot of people that came to my classes this last year were struggling with anger that yeah. they hadn't dealt with in in ways and depths that they hadn't really felt before i know oh, yeah. i even fell into that a little bit this have last you seen year. some of these stupid people <laughs> and sorry. so and so that was anger sorry so <laughs> how do you come from Okay, I wouldn't recommend this last year. I'm kind of yeah. hanging out in that energy, but I have some hope and but some I excitement want, yeah. well, for the next year. Well, this is the year. new year, yeah. So the new year is going to be, well... So what's your I, new year going to be? What do you want this year? 
I, well, of course, I don't want, I want it to be better than last year. Okay, and, well. And that means, so I don't want to be sick, because I, I was pretty sick most of last year. Recovering so. from COVID. From yeah, the COVID. February yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah that was Long brutal. hauler symptoms. So, okay, yeah. so let's so say. So I want to be, not be sick this year. You don't want to be sick. Well, that's a pretty low goal. Like, so, okay, I get it. You don't want to be sick. Yeah. But what does that mean to you? What does that look like to not be sick? What does it look like to not be? Oh, so I want to be healthy? <laughs> okay, so being healthy is good because the first thing, what I want to touch in on is the very first thing you said is, I don't want to be sick like last year. Right. Well, does that mean you're okay with a different kind of sickness? Oh. Or you're okay, okay. with not being as sick, but still maybe not just having better, energy? Just better, just like... Because I How think much that's better? probably not oh, what you're okay. going to think. No, no, no. Well, no, I want to be, so I want to be healthy. I want to, I want to not be sick at all. Okay. So I want to be healthy. So what does that look like then? So what does that mean to you? I want to be healthy. Well, like so I then was you... a few years ago. Okay, so what was that exactly? What oh, were you a few years okay. ago? And did that make you happy? What did okay, it look like? Okay, this is a lot harder than just saying, duh, I want X. Right. Okay, all right. So I want to be healthy like... Uh, so I want to have energy. Okay, that's a good start because that's a statement. Of I want to have the type of energy feel. that I had three years ago. I like it. Now you're starting to name it. You're starting okay. to define it a little better. Okay. You're not just saying I don't want. I don't want. Yeah. So you want yeah. to have some energy, <laughs> and so then that what? Do reminds you want? that reminds me of like how I piece together girlfriends way back in the day. <laughs> like if that's not piece together, <laughs> not like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever I would we would I would break up with a girlfriend in my brain I remember I kind of laid out kind of a checklist what you didn't like of what I didn't want yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I think that's really common too people have a relationship there it starts out great you're like ooh no new yeah. partner well, yeah yeah that's and then, so much fun and then it gets to like you're like um, I don't like this or that or that and then you break up and then and what's then, the first thing you do I don't want somebody I know that's what like I, this. I know what I don't want. And so often people don't get to the step of saying, I want a picture that looks like this. I want someone that does this. They're oh, running the good from, side. I don't want this. They had, don't because want they had their good traits. Right. But how often do people I forget didn't, what I, the Yeah, I didn't are. add that into the, I didn't say, this is what I do want. This is what I don't want. You piece together Only all what of I these don't traits. Want. Yeah, because because I think because I focus on the negative. Yeah. Okay. Which and is that's like so that's common. what I don't want. Like last year. I don't want to be sick. Because that's the negative. I don't want to not have okay. energy. All right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Let's step it up. So well, that's harder. It is a lot harder <laughs> because it makes you think and it makes you clean and I, it makes you be responsible. I can tell you exactly all of the things in this world <laughs> I don't want. Yeah. And but that's so I'm not people. sure what I exactly, I, I couldn't honestly tell you exactly what I do want yet. You could Because I haven't thought about it. You could even tell me all the foods that you don't like. But <laughs> it's, it's a harder to come up with some of the ones that you don't like. But you though, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's, yeah. So, okay, so, and so. And probably for those of you watching too, you could even probably think of, what's not working in your life, what you don't like yep. about your job, yep. what you don't like, what coworkers drive yeah. you crazy and what their traits are. Yep. Yep. But then if what you try the other to end think, of that? what inspires yeah. you? What sparks joy within your heart? What part of your job do you love? What motivates you to get up in the morning? Yeah, and the coworkers you have, what are the ones that you really enjoy and what part of it? What traits? What specific thing makes you really enjoy them? Exactly. That's really, yeah. Drill down on that. Think okay. about it. Create so your positive. Because that's going to lift you up into the headspace of feeling positive, which now, brings that energy. Now, wasn't there now wasn't there a thing I remember a long time ago when you were putting together, I don't know, one of the things that you do, and you said, don't say not a thing. Because right. the universe doesn't hear the word not. Or exactly. Not, right? Exactly. So if you say, I don't want to be sick, the universe, your higher self, your subconscious hears, I sick. If you say, I don't want to be tired all the time, the universe, your higher self, your subconscious hears, I am tired all the, the time. time. 
that you don't hear the knots. You're just like if you speed read, you cut out all those short little words yeah. and, and you, you get the main the concept. Subject action. Yes. Subject so action. So your subconscious, the universe, whatever you want to call it, that fuels you, that moves you forward, that draws you into what you're gonna do and be in the world, here's the noun the and verb. The, and the action. Exactly. Okay. And so, and so I don't want to be sick. I don't want to not have energy. I don't want to be angry all the time. Guess what? You're going to be sick. You're going to be tired. You're going to be angry. All of those things because that's what you're focusing on. Instead, if you say, okay, let's leave that behind. I am ready to be happy. I am ready to be motivated. I want to wake up in the morning and have energy and be ready to start the day. I'm motivated to take the steps I need to take. And then you end up in the positive side, yeah. which is where Your then it hears, is. I energy. Yes. I motivated. Yes. I happy. Exactly. That's one of the key secrets to okay. the successful life that brings you joy, where you're doing it, you're living it, you're motivated. It's really, it's such a concept that really is so intrinsic, the way we build our vocabulary and what those actions are that we take. As we started the new year, I knew one of the things I wanted to do was be more motivated, get exercise, feel well. And so I would tell myself before I go to bed, I would say, I'm gonna wake up with so much energy, I'm gonna feel zest, I'm gonna be excited to walk. And this morning I did a three mile yeah, walk in our living room because we're staying inside still and I had that zest. I know that I surprised myself on January now, using 2nd. using words like zest, does that help specifically? That's good, <laughs> yes. Think of words that really trigger some things inside yourself. Oh, you can almost inspiring. taste it. Yes, you? <laughs> yes. And you want to bring in all of those senses too. Mm -hmm. You want to bring in the feeling and the emotion within it because our emotion evokes such a deep greater passion, a deeper and greater passion within us to cause those changes to happen much quicker than if you're just kind of logically going, yeah, I'll, I'll be awake, um, I want to walk, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, like, want, I want to do more. Yeah, well, there goes another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and instead, so. if you're like, I just, you know, let some, get some zest in the pep and the step and like, you okay. know, have some fun. Okay. All right, all right. So really, whatever words trigger those emotions within you, feel it, know it, understand it, look at it. You might want to write it down. That's another way to really build it into yourself. But draw a picture, paint a picture of what you want your life to look like. Nice. So think about it. Drill down on it within yourself. What do you want in 2021? And don't say, well, I want, you know, the same thing that I thought of, you know, four yeah, years ago. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, that might be what you want, but think about it. Drill make it, it down. Make it a thing now. Feel yeah. it in your heart. Feel it in your gut. Know it in your mind and speak the words that are positive, that draw it in, that bring you into that headspace. I think one of the things that was, I've, I've always been a really passionate person, you know that. So, but I think this year with Hanukkah, I was really so charged up with that, being in the headspace of focusing on the awe of the everyday and really finding those little things that make a difference in my day-to-day -day life. You know, looking at the cat or listening to the cat's purr and just being in awe and inspired by the feeling that I get with the rumble and how it makes my heart leap with joy and you know really allowing yourself to think of the everyday miracles and see them as that see that spark of joy you know when I look in your face and I see the glimmer in your eyes and I see your energy coming up and it makes my heart <laughs> sparkle as I see that in you and I think so often we overlook those things and we just kind of you know, oh, he's feeling better. That's great. So what am I going to do? So next. I have to cook dinner. You know, it's yeah. like, no, yeah. cook dinner and think about how the smells are melding together. You know, everything you do, put yourself in that headspace and draw a picture of what you want 2021 to look like for yourself. And you're going to see so many more things happen. So many more coincidences coming into place. And you're going to feel the joy because you're paying attention to it. Nice. Nice. It's so important to be specific about it. Don't settle for just being better than the last year. Even if last year was a normal year. You yeah. want it to be very specific. I'm glad you 
brought up the example of a relationship because that's such a good way, you know, make a list. I often talk to people that are in between relationships or trying to figure out how to, what Where to do with go? their relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll talk about writing a list. What do you want? What do you like? What, you know, what things matter to yeah, you? Yeah, what things matter, exactly. Before I cooked you up in my cauldron and made you, as I like to joke about, <laughs> I actually had written a three-page list of the requirements that I would have in a life partner because I thought there's no way the universe will bring it to me if I am that specific. And I just detailed, like, all of these things that... I kind of felt like probably don't matter, but I would really like to have. And to me, it seemed like a fail-safe plan to not meet somebody because that's not <laughs> what I wanted at the time. And so, and it was um, like immediately, like within a couple weeks or a week or something after I wrote it, that I, I met that. you, changed my life more than 20 years ago. And I got her to believe I was all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> because the universe doesn't hear what I wrote at the top of the paper or the was nuts. thinking I don't want a relationship right. yeah, if yeah. I have one it will be required to fulfill all of these it heard the actions and the verbs and the nouns and everything and then that's what you create when you write it's very powerful not just because you're writing but because you're thinking about it you're you planning to put words you're to putting, it and exactly. structure to it yeah. yes yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. so do that with designing what you want this next year to look like for yourself set goals set plans keep them in the affirmative and and go for it and go for it you have any other things before we go to the closing this is casanova this by is the way casanova. <laughs> i don't think so no i just that's like i said it just seemed it seems like a simple thing and then now that you put the definition to it it's much harder because my brain doesn't necessarily work like that all the time so yeah so it just is it would be more work but it, i can see where how much more you can get out of it when you make definitions because it's like one of the things you said that made i thought was interesting was i guess it's it seems like so the universe doesn't understand comparative right mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a good way to say it so like the universe doesn't go well you saw last year as x so to make it better, it needs to do whatever comparison makes that better. Right. And so it wouldn't know what that is to you. Right. You just have to say, this is what I want in the positive, and mm -hmm. that's where it will go. Exactly. Makes sense. And it gets your head space into that space, too, because if you're thinking, I don't want this, I don't know, I want that, just like when you're driving a car, you're headed in the direction that your focus is. So if yep. you're focused on what you don't want, you're driving right towards You're going to go it. get what you don't want. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you bring your focus into thinking about drilling down on what you want, taking the time to put into it, to think about what it is you want, really define it, and then your headspace is going, okay, now I'm zeroing yeah. in on well, what the, I actually the want. Part. Yeah. Let's go to get it. The thing I want. Yeah, absolutely. If you add something in like Reiki, learning some learning something new like Reiki, or if you already practice Reiki, add Reiki to it because that's going to help bring all of the different coincidences into your life so that you it just starts heading you right into that direction. And so, um, so really think about it. Really take some time to drill down on what you want this to look like for yourself. You might even, while you're at it, want to think about your five-year plan. Where do you want to be in five years? If you want to be at a certain spot in five years, what does that mean you should have this year? Look at, like, for yourself. That's what I do. Five-year plan, ten-year plan, three-year plan, and the current year plan. Yeah. And I remember a long time ago that used to seem so out of reach for me. But now, as of, you know, many years have passed that I've been doing that, and it's so exciting to watch all of it get fulfilled. It wouldn't happen if I didn't name it and take the time to think about it. You don't have to know all the details right now, but get Just yourself in that headspace yeah. and start heading that direction. Think about what greatness you want in your life. Don't sell yourself short. Don't stop short and just have minuscule goals. Think about what greatness. If you could have anything you wanted in your life, think about how that would look and start yourself headed in that direction. You are so powerful. When you take responsibility for recognizing that you are in control of your life, 
you can do and create and be whatever you want in your life. Oh my gosh, that brings so much in that allows you to do it, to create it, to be it. But you have to know what it is. You have to name it so that you can go out and start to achieve it. So think about what greatness you want. Think about what you would make, um, uh, what would make you sit back and just have awe at your life. If you will get to the point where you are, just picture yourself, visualization is so powerful for all of this, but sit back, think about your life, and if you had this amazing life where you could just sit back and go, oh my God, I can't believe this is my life. What, what that does that look, look like? like? It's amazing and exciting when you get to the point where you are reaching that and you just can sat, sit back sometimes and go, oh my God, I can't believe this is my life. And yeah. then you think, you know, if I could tell myself 10 years ago that it's going to be okay because this is going to be yeah, my this life. This is going to be okay. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. So think about what your life would look like if you're sitting back in awe of what your life is. And then think about after you do the visualization, you come into your logical mind with it, think about what steps you can take, what steps you can start to do to get yourself there. If you feel like you're struggling at first, don't feel like, you know, money is a, a hindrance or, you know, don't think, well, I need this or I need that and I don't have this or that. Think about what you need to do to start to get yourself towards that and visualize yourself happening it, see it, know that you can have it and start pulling yourself into that. Sometimes it can help just to surround yourself by other people who have already made it to whatever you're going to be. Yeah. And it might be that you surround yourself by online classes or being in the presence of people online that are where you want to be because that energy does transfer and that energy also inspires so that you can start being there achieving it doing all of that so think about I hope that gives you some food for thought I think that gives them plenty to think about <laughs> and so really drill down I hope this helps you and helps you to get set up for a fantastic 2021 where you will achieve your goals and your dreams so that when we reach December this year that you'll be able to say wow despite whatever happened in the world around me I am happy. Yeah. I am fulfilled. I am Better. inspired when I wake <laughs> up in the mornings. I am all that the you things want that I to want make. to be. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you can always have goals for more. But be excited but yeah. and find the awe in your life where you are now with what you have now. That's and a big key as well. The gratitude for where you with, are. Yeah, yeah. That's Well, yeah, because that's where... One of the things they say is, you know, people that are happy with their life, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're exactly where they want to be. Right. It's just they've learned to be happy with what their life is. Exactly. And then when you're happy with what your life is, it's amazing how much better your life is on a daily basis and then how much better it can get every day than that. So, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So. So have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for watching our videos here at Earth and Sky Center. If you're ever interested in classes, please feel free to let us know. We are in the process of getting up the schedule for a lot of classes for 2021. We will be doing some online classes as well as some uh, very small and safe uh, classes in person. If you are interested in a group class, for a group of your friends or a small uh, group of family members or something like that. I am also doing private classes for small groups, whether it's online or within the right parameters, possibly in person as well. Um, just give us a call or send us an email and we look forward to hearing from you. Please, as always, remember to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube. What's our email? EarthSkyCenter at gmail.com Right. You can also find us on Facebook, Earth and Sky Center, yeah. and our phone number is there as well. Um, hopefully our website will be getting in the works pretty there. soon. We have, the, we have the domain name now. So <laughs> we do. We're getting so there. It's in the works. So <laughs> thank you all so very much.